Over the past few months, our development team has been building a new version of Shift. We're calling this version V8, and it's faster, lighter, and it's much more capable than the old version of Shift, V7. Unlike V7, which is built on a framework called Electron, V8 is built right on top of Chrome. This unlocks a ton of feature capabilities and allows us to deliver a browsing experience that is much closer to the one that you get from Chrome itself. We're making this switch due to the feedback we've heard from you, our users, on ways that V7 could be improved. These areas include to general performance, bookmarks, extensions, settings flexibility, and more. First off, you can expect increased performance. We're happy to report that V8 is faster and lighter, which means quicker load times and better utilization of your computer's resources. We've also added M1 support, which means that Shift is optimized for M1 Mac users. No longer do you need to run Shift in emulation. The core functionality of V8 remains the same, with all of your email accounts and applications living in the sidebar, emails being in the top with your applications on the bottom. Now that Shift is built on Chrome, V8 unlocks full Chrome extension support. This means that you're no longer limited to the handful of extensions supported in V7 and can add whatever Chrome extension that you'd like to V8. To browse the extension library, simply click on the extension icon, then select the blue plus sign. You'll then be directed to the Chrome web store where you can browse your extensions as needed. The second change we've made with extensions is general instant sign-in. Signing into an extension in one place will sign you into that extension across all of the email accounts and apps that you've added to Shift. This is compared to V7, where you had to sign into an extension individually across each email account and application where you wanted to use that extension. You'll also notice a new browsing experience in V8. The two biggest browsing changes we're introducing are Global Bookmarks and the Quick Switcher tool. Global Bookmarks allow you to bookmark from anywhere within Shift and manage all of your bookmarks from within the Bookmark Manager. In contrast, V7 only allowed you to create bookmarks from within a workspace. To pull up the Bookmark Manager, simply right-click anywhere in the Bookmark tab and select Bookmark Manager. The Quick Switcher tool is a new addition to the browser, which allows you to quickly toggle to previously open tabs, email accounts, and applications. It's located beside the Like icon near the center search bar, and it looks like two arrows going opposite directions. Hitting Control Tab will hotkey the quick switcher. On that note, shortcuts have carried over to V8 from V7. The in-app shortcut list is still in production, and you'll be able to view all of the existing shortcuts in a future V8 update. Along with full Chrome extension support, being built on Chrome means more flexibility in terms of settings. V8 has a revamped setting page, which includes abilities to, to adjust your preferred font type and size, clear your browsing history, as well as clear your cookies and cache. Location services have also been added, with Widevine support allowing apps like Netflix and Hulu to be used in V8. Now, there's lots that's new with V8, and there's also a lot more new things that are coming. This current early release of V8 is intended to test core functionality and you can expect to see many more features released over the coming months. As a sneak peek, I'll quickly list through what's coming. First is the hamburger slider. This is the slidable icon that separates your email accounts and applications. Next, we have our most popular feature, Workspaces. Workspaces are an organizational tool that allows you to create groupings of apps, bookmarks, and web tabs. We're currently developing a new iteration of workspaces that will allow you to group your digital tools and email accounts. We also have Epic Search on the way, which is a more powerful iteration of V7's unified search. Password and history import are also coming, which will allow you to import your passwords in history from your native browser whenever you'd like. We're also in the process of developing notification management. You'll be able to edit your notification preferences per app and email account, as well as turn your badge notifications on and off. Auto Hibernate is also coming, which will allow you to turn Auto Hibernate off for any email account or application that you'd like. We have the in-app list of keyboard shortcuts, which is the pullout menu that will come out from the right-hand side, which lists all of the keyboard shortcuts in V8. Lastly, in terms of subscription and billing settings, this is currently only done via the online account portal, which is accessed through the Shift website. 
we're currently developing the in-app version. We also have the in-app license management for Teams accounts portal on the way. This will allow you to manage all of your Teams licenses and purchase additional licenses in-app rather than doing so via the online account portal. That sums up our quick intro to V8 regarding what's new and what you can expect to see coming soon. If you have any questions on V8, please don't hesitate to reach out to our support team. Enjoy!